Good morning. I'm Don Cobb. Welcome to PrincipledLiving.net. I want to talk about a couple of important things this morning. One, just to tell you the mission that I'm on, a short mission. I took my little girl to school. We got there early. Let me turn off Caleb. And um, it turned out that she had forgotten her backpack. And uh, so no big deal. I told her, you go play. I'll go get your stuff. And I did. And um, and I did it with kindness and love because I love her. And uh, an awful lot of parents, in my observation, uh, don't handle their children's uh, um, faux pas so kindly or gracefully or with such love. Very quick to get angry at their children. Very quick to get angry because the parent has been inconvenienced very quick to shoot off angry words at their children. I just see it a lot. I've seen it a lot in my years on the planet. And um, and it's not okay. It does not draw people close together. It does not draw a child closer to the parents. So, I wanted to talk a little bit about, well, what I wanted to talk about was principles before personalities. That we have principles that God calls us to practice, and uh, whether even if we don't know God or have no relationship with Him, we still have uh, the um, calling. I, I believe, I and mean, we have the option to practice principles in our lives. If, and and in doing so, we will see our relationships get stronger and uh, with more love and more pleasant and more enjoyable, and uh, our life will become more enjoyable. And when we put personalities into it, uh, it's not so much at all. Then we don't like it. Uh, we don't like life. And we don't like them. And we don't like our circumstances. And and it does. It brings a flood of emotions like anger and um, anything but kindness. So here I am about to drop off my daughter's backpack while she's out enjoying herself. In fact, I'll probably show you her out there. <laughs> Uh, she's probably out there playing tetherball right now. But I wanted to implore you to uh, treat your children with kindness, with love and with kindness. And, um, no, she's not out there. And, and your relationships will get stronger and better too. And your kids, I believe, will create a love that will last forever. Uh, rather than having to go through that separation where teenagers separate from their parents. Well, why? Add up all the times that you talk angry to them. Add up, add up all the times you've yelled at them. Add up all the times that you've been impatient with them. Add up all the times that you haven't practiced principles with them. That's why. That's why teenagers get that way. Because they pay attention and they're keeping a log of all that stuff. And it doesn't have to be like that. I'm Don Cobb. Welcome to PrincipledLiving.net. And I look forward to talking to you next about God. Have a great day.